Welcome to our channel. Today, we're taking a nostalgic trip back to the 1980s to revisit some of the most handsome and iconic TV actors of that era. Join us as we explore where these heartthrobs are now in 2024. From dashing detectives to charming leading men, these actors captivated audiences with their talent and charisma. So sit back, relax, and let's uncover the journey of these handsome TV stars from the 1980s to the present day. Let's dive in. Tim Reed as Venus Flytrap. Reed portrayed DJ Venus Flytrap on the popular CBS sitcom WKRP in Cincinnati, marking one of his most iconic television roles. He also appeared as Lieutenant Marcel Proust, Downtown Brown, Episodes 43, 127, on the CBS detective series Simon and Simon. In 1988, Reed was honored with an accolade from viewers for quality television awards as the best actor in a quality comedy series for his performance in Frank's Place. That same year, he also received an Image Award for Outstanding Lead Actor in a Comedy Series for the same role. In 1966, Reed tied the knot with Rita Ann Sykes. They later parted ways, finalizing their divorce on May 9, 1980. Together, they have two children, Timothy II, born 1968, and Tori Reed, born 1971. Subsequently, on December 4, 1982, he exchanged vows with actress Daphne Maxwell Reed. In July 2011, Reed was appointed to the board of directors of the American Civil War Center at Tredegar Ironworks. On May 10, 2014, Reed was bestowed with an honorary doctorate from Virginia Commonwealth University in recognition of his exceptional contributions, following his commencement address. David Hasselhoff as Michael Knight. Hasselhoff was enlisted by then-NBC President Brandon Tartikoff to star in the action crime drama series Knight Rider from 1982 to 1986 as Michael Knight. Hasselhoff was wedded to actress Catherine Hickland from March 24, 1984, to March 1, 1989. Their marriage was depicted in the Knight Rider Season 4 episode, The Scent of Roses, which premiered on January 3, 1986. In late 2011, Hasselhoff initiated a relationship with Haley Roberts from the town of Glyneath in Wales. As a new couple, they featured in Gordon Ramsay's Christmas special of that year. In the 2012 sequel, when asked about engagement, they conveyed how they had discussed it. On July 31, 2018, they tied the knot in Apulia, and in August, they enjoyed their honeymoon in the Maldives. Hasselhoff is an enthusiast of Welsh rugby union, and the couple regularly attend matches in Wales. Bruce Willis as David Addison, Jr., Willis was chosen for the role of David Addison Jr. in the television series Moonlighting, 1985-1989, triumphing over 3,000 other actors for the part. Willis's acting influences include Gary Cooper, Robert De Niro, Steve McQueen, and John Wayne. He is left-handed. He resides in the Brentwood neighborhood of Los Angeles with his family. At the premiere for the film Stakeout, Willis encountered actress Demi Moore. They wed on November 21, 1987, and had three daughters, including Rumor, who arrived in August 1988. Willis and Moore announced their separation on June 24, 1998. They filed for divorce on October 18, 2000, and the divorce was finalized later that day. Reflecting on the divorce, Willis expressed, I felt I had failed as a father and a husband by not being able to make it work. He acknowledged actor Will Smith for assisting him in dealing with the situation. He has maintained a close bond with both Moore and her subsequent spouse, actor Ashton Kutcher, and attended their wedding, Robert Wagner as Jonathan Hart. Wagner's third successful series was Heart to Heart, which co-starred Stephanie Powers and Lionel Stander and aired on ABC TV from 1979 to 1984. In his memoirs, Wagner revealed he had romantic involvements with Yvonne DiCarlo, Joan Crawford, Elizabeth Taylor, Anita Ekberg, Shirley Ann Field, Laurie Nelson, and Joan Collins. He also disclosed a four-year intimate relationship with Barbara Stanwyck after they starred together in the film Titanic, 1953. 
Wagner noted that due to their age gap, he was 22, she was 45, they kept their relationship clandestine to prevent harming their careers. There are also speculations regarding his romantic liaisons with men, although Wagner does not acknowledge these claims. Robert Urish as Spencer. From 1985 to 1988, he portrayed the lead character in the detective television series Spencer, For Hire, adapted from Robert B. Parker's series of mystery novels. Urich's initial marriage was to actress Barbara Rucker in 1968. They parted ways in 1974. He wed actress Heather Menzies, 1949-2017, in 1975. They adopted three children. Their marriage endured until his passing in 2002. In November 2001, Urich revealed in an interview that doctors had discovered lumps in his body, but a new medication had effectively treated them. A week prior to his demise, he was admitted to Los Robles Hospital and Medical Center in Thousand Oaks due to respiratory complications. He passed away there on April 16, 2002. John Schneider as Bo Duke. At 18 years old, he secured the role of Bo Duke, acting alongside fellow newcomer Tom Wopat and seasoned actor James Best. In 1982, Schneider co-established the Children's Miracle Network alongside Marie Osmond and her siblings. In 1995, he founded FaithWorks Productions to create family-friendly videos and recordings. In 1998, Schneider experienced a spiritual transformation and became a devout Christian while residing briefly with Johnny and June Carter Cash, engaging in discussions about Christianity with Johnny. Schneider was wed to former Miss America, Tawny Elaine Godin, from 1983 to 1986. He exchanged vows with his second spouse, Elvira Ellie Castle, on July 11, 1993. TMZ.com reported on December 12, 2014, that Castle had initiated divorce proceedings. They have three children. Two are Castles from a previous marriage, born in 1991, and they have one daughter together. Schneider initiated a romantic relationship with Alicia Alayan, his producing collaborator and owner of Maven Entertainment, in April 2015. Alicia served as both his personal and professional manager. They tied the knot in September 2019 and remained united until Align's passing on February 21, 2023. Eric Estrada as Officer Francis. Frank Ponch Poncharello. Eric Estrada is renowned for his leading role as California Highway Patrol Officer Francis Frank Llewellyn Ponch Poncharello in the police drama television series Ships which aired from 1977 to 1983. Estrada tied the knot with Joyce Miller in November 1979. Their marriage ended in divorce in 1980 without any children. He then wed Peggy Lynn Rowe, an entertainment executive, songwriter, and producer in 1985, but they parted ways in 1990. The couple had two sons, Anthony Eric, born 1986, and Brandon Michael Paul, born 1987. In 1997, Estrada exchanged vows with Nanette Murkovich, a film sound technician. They welcomed their daughter, Francesca Natalia, in 2000. Estrada currently resides in Studio City, California, U.S. During an episode of Watch What Happens Live in January 2019, Marie Osmond disclosed to host Andy Cohen that she had a brief romantic involvement with Estrada. Estrada is an active member of the Blue Knights Motorcycle Club and also participates in the Loyal Order of Moose Fraternal and Service Organization, Ted Danson as Sam Malone. In 1982, Danson landed the role of Sam Malone, a former local baseball star turned bartender on the NBC sitcom Cheers. Throughout the series, he engaged in an on-and-off romance with the erudite Diane Chambers. Despite initially ranking last in its debut season's ratings, the show garnered praise from critics. Danson's first spouse, actress Randall Randy Gosh, known professionally as Randy Danson, became his wife in 1970, but they divorced in 1975. His second marriage was to producer Cassandra Casey Coates, whom he wedded in 1977. Unfortunately, 
Tragedy struck on December 24, 1979, when Coates suffered a stroke while giving birth to their first daughter, Kate. Danson devoted several years to caring for her and aiding in her recovery. They later welcomed a second daughter, Alexis, through adoption. His extramarital relationship with actress Whoopi Goldberg played a part in their divorce in 1993, which was one of Hollywood's most expensive splits at the time, reportedly costing Danson $30 million. Larry Hagman as J.R. Ewing. In 1978, Hagman received offers for roles in two debut television series. One was for The Waverly Wonders and the other for Dallas, portraying the scheming eldest son and businessman, J.R. Ewing. Following the passing of his stepfather, Richard Halliday, in 1973, Hagman reconciled with his mother, Mary Martin. Their relationship remained close until her death from colon cancer in 1990. In 1954, Hagman wed Maj Axelsson, a native of Sweden, born May 13, 1928, in Eskilstuna, Södermanlands Land, Sweden, passed away May 31, 2016, in Los Angeles, California. Together they had two children, Heidi Christina, born 1958, and Preston, born 1962. Formerly residents of Malibu, California, they later relocated to Ojai. Hagman has been affiliated with the Peace and Freedom Party since the 1960s. He criticized U.S. President George W. Bush prior to the Iraq War. Pierce Brosnan as Remington Steele. In 1982, Brosnan relocated to Southern California and gained prominence in the United States by starring in the NBC romantic and often comedic detective series Remington Steele. Brosnan has been married twice, widowed once and is a father to five children and grandfather to four grandchildren. He encountered Australian actress Cassandra Harris through her stepson David Harris, nephew of Richard Harris, shortly after completing drama school. Upon meeting her, he remarked, What an exquisitely beautiful woman. I never imagined she would become my companion for 17 years. I didn't contemplate wooing her. I simply wanted to bask in her beauty and essence. They commenced a romantic relationship and purchased a residence in Wimbledon. They exchanged vows in December 1980 and welcomed a son, Sean, on September 13, 1983, who later pursued acting. Additionally, they nurtured Harris's two children from her previous marriage, Charlotte, 1971-2013, and Chris. Brosnan legally adopted them following the passing of their father, Dermot Harris, in 1986, and they subsequently adopted his surname. During the initial stages of their partnership, Brosnan appeared in West End theatrical productions and television movies. George Peppard as Colonel John Hannibal Smith. In 1982, Peppard tried out for and secured the part of Colonel John Hannibal Smith in the television action-adventure series The A-Team, co-starring with Mr. T, Dirk Benedict, and Dwight Schultz. Peppard lived in a white Greek revival-style cottage in Hollywood Hills, California, until his passing. His residence boasted charming porches on three sides and a detached guest house at the rear. Subsequently acquired by designer Brenda Anton, who undertook a year-long restoration project, the modest abode was bought by writer-actress Lena Dunham in 2015 for $2.7 million. Peppard conquered a severe alcohol addiction in 1978, thereafter dedicating himself to aiding fellow alcoholics. I recognized I needed to cease and I did, he revealed in 1983. Reflecting back, I'm remorseful for some of my actions during my drinking days. Peppard smoked three packs of cigarettes daily for much of his life. Following a lung cancer diagnosis in 1992 and surgery to remove a portion of one lung, he kicked the habit. Jan Michael Vincent as Stringfellow Hawk. After wrapping up his portrayal of Byron Henry, Briny, in the 1983 television miniseries The Winds of War, Vincent was chosen for the role of Stringfellow Hawk in the action espionage series Air Wolf, alongside Ernest Borgnine. Vincent wed Bonnie Poorman in 1968, and they welcomed a daughter, Amber Spring Vincent, in 1973.
Their marriage concluded in 1986. Vincent entered into a second marriage in 1986. His subsequent spouse, Joanne Robinson, departed from him and obtained a restraining order against him in 1998, alleging marital abuse. He battled alcoholism and intravenous drug use for much of his life. In 1977, 1978, and 1979, he faced arrests for cocaine possession, and in 1984 and 1985, he was detained following two pub altercations. Vincent passed away on February 10, 2019, at the age of 74 in Asheville, North Carolina, from cardiac arrest while admitted to Mission Hospital. Bradycardia, a reduced heart rate, was cited as an underlying factor in his demise. His death remained undisclosed until March 8, when TMZ released the news and displayed a partially censored version of Vincent's death certificate. John Forsyth as Blake Carrington in 1981, as Charlie's Angels drew to a close, Forsyth was chosen as a last-minute replacement for George Peppard in the role of scheming patriarch Blake Carrington in Dynasty. Forsyth's spouse of 51 years, Julie Warren, October 20, 1919, August 15, 1994, passed away at age 74 from cancer in a hospital after Forsyth opted to disconnect her life support system. She had been in a coma following severe breathing issues. In July 2002, Forsyth wedded businesswoman Nicole Carter, May 27, 1941, May 11, 2010, at Ballard Country Church. They remained wed until his passing. Nicole Carter Forsyth passed away five weeks after her husband. On May 2, 2006, Forsyth joined Dynasty co-stars Linda Evans, Joan Collins, Pamela Sue Martin, Al Corley, Gordon Thompson, and Catherine Oxenberg in Dynasty Reunion, Catfights and Caviar. The one-hour reunion special of the former ABC series aired on CBS. Forsyth makes an appearance every year to read to youngsters during the annual Christmas event near his residence in the rural resort town of Solvang, California. Forsyth succumbed to pneumonia on April 1, 2010, in Santa Ynez, California, at the age of 92. Robert Guillaume as Benson Dubois Robert Guillaume portrayed Benson Dubois in the ABC television series Soap and its spin-off, Benson. Guillaume entered into matrimony twice, firstly with Marlene Williams in 1955, and together they welcomed two sons, Kevin and Jacques. Although Guillaume prioritized his career early in their union, they remained married until 1984. His daughter, Melissa, was born in 1980. He and her mother, Patricia, raised her. He subsequently wed Donna Brown in 1986, and they were blessed with a daughter, Rachel. Guillaume also had a daughter, Patricia, from a different mother, born in 1950 and raised by her grandparents. His son, Jacques, passed away on December 23, 1990, at 32, due to complications from AIDS. Guillaume succumbed to prostate cancer on October 24, 2017, at his residence in Los Angeles, California, at the age of 89. Philip Michael Thomas as Rico Tubbs In 1984, Thomas commenced portraying the character of Ricardo Tubbs, a former NYPD police officer hailing from the Bronx, who relocates to Miami to seek vengeance for his brother, Raphael Tubbs's murder. In Miami, he crosses paths with another undercover cop, Sonny Crockett, who happens to be pursuing the same culprit. In 1994, Thomas inked a deal with a Florida-based Psychic Readers Network, later known as Traffics, Inc., to serve as the spokesperson for the Philip Michael Thomas International Psychic Network. He starred in television commercials and asserted to have encountered the world's leading psychics during his global voyages. He adopted a similar attire to his Miami Vice character and even commenced the ads with the phrase, From Miami Vice to Universal Council. Thomas follows a vegetarian diet, abstains from smoking and drinking. In 1986, Thomas tied the knot with Cassandra Green. They share five children. However, in 1998, they parted ways. Gregory Harrison as Dr. George Alonzo Gonzo, Gates, M.D. Gregory Harrison is primarily recognized for his portrayal of Dr. George Alonzo, 
Gonzo, Gates, the youthful surgical assistant to Dr. Trapper, John McIntyre, portrayed by Pernell Roberts, on the CBS series Trapper John, M.D., 1979-86. Harrison has been wedded since December 21, 1980, to actress Randy Oakes, whom he encountered while competing in a 1979 episode of Battle of the Network Stars, with Harrison representing the CBS team and Oakes the NBC team. Their marital union remained undisclosed to the public for numerous years. The pair shares four children, Emma Lee, born 1985, Lily Ann, born 1989, and Kate, born 1991. Additionally, they adopted a son, Quinn Edgar. Initially, the couple resided together in Sherman Oaks, California. But since the early 1990s, the family has made their home in southern Oregon. Initially in Gold Beach. Oregon for a span of 15 years, and then in Eugene, Oregon. Lorenzo Lamas as Lance Cumpson. In 1980, Lamas tried out for and secured the part of Lance Cumpson for the pilot of a new series named The Vintage Years. Lamas has tied the knot six times and is a father to six children. His initial marriage was to Victoria Hilbert, 1981-1982. His second marital bond, 1983-1985, was with his publicist, Michelle Cathy Smith, with whom he had two kids, son, Alvaro Joshua, A.J., B. 1983, and daughter Shane, B. 1985, both involved in acting. Following this, Lamas was romantically involved with actress Daphne Ashbrook. The pair had a daughter. Lamas was wedded to his third spouse, Renegade co-star Kathleen Kinmont, from 1989 to 1993, Playmate of the month Shauna Sand, who made cameo appearances in Renegade, became Lamas's fourth spouse in 1996. The duo welcomed three daughters before parting ways in 2002. Tony Danza as Tony Miselli. Tony Danza took the lead role in Who's the Boss? 1984-1992. Portraying Tony Miselli, a former baseball player, housekeeper, and single father. In recognition of his contributions to the television industry, Danza received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame at 7000 Hollywood Boulevard in 1988. Danza's initial marriage was to Rhonda Yeoman. They wedded in 1970 and parted ways in 1974. They share two children, a son and a daughter. Their son Mark made appearances with Danza on Taxi in two episodes as Brian Sims. In 1986, Danza tied the knot with Tracy Robinson. The couple separated in 2006 and initiated divorce proceedings on March 10, 2011. The divorce was finalized on February 6, 2013. They are parents to two daughters. In 2008, Danza and his son Mark collaborated on a cookbook titled Don't Fill Up on the Antipasto, Tony Danza's father-son cookbook. At one point, Danza held a partnership in Alava Dairy, touted as America's oldest cheese shop, situated on Grand Street in the Little Italy neighborhood of Manhattan, Tom Selleck as Thomas Magnum. Selleck's major breakthrough occurred when he landed the starring role as Thomas Magnum in Magnum P.I. From 1971 to 1982, Selleck was wedded to model Jacqueline Ray. During this period, he legally adopted her son, Kevin Shepard, born 1966, who later became the drummer for the American rock band Tonic. On August 7, 1987, Selleck tied the knot with Jilly Joan Mack, born 1957. They share one daughter, Hannah, born December 16, 1988. Selleck and his family reside near Thousand Oaks, Westlake Village, California, on a 60-acre Abu 24 Ha, Avocado Ranch in Hidden Valley, formerly owned by Dean Martin. In a 2012 interview with People, Selleck discussed his life and work on the ranch. So I enjoy getting outdoors and tending to the ranch, whether it's repairing roads or clearing brush. I'm not a fan of going to the gym, so breaking a sweat outside is much better than sitting on a stationary bike staring at my belly button. Plus, I come cheaper than hiring someone else to do the work. Richard Dean Anderson as Angus MacGyver. 
Anderson rose to prominence in the starring role of Angus MacGyver in the popular TV series MacGyver, which aired from 1985 to 1992 and enjoyed great success throughout its seven-season tenure. Anderson divides his time between Vancouver, Los Angeles, and northern Minnesota. A self-professed enthusiast of winter sports, he has a passion for hockey and skiing. By 1998, he acknowledged the need to take it easy a bit due to having a couple of repaired knees. While filming SG-1, he organized both street and ice hockey matches involving the cast and crew. Additionally, he pursued a career as a race car driver during his time on MacGyver. From 1996 to 2003, he was in a relationship with April A. Prose, who is the mother of his only child, Wiley Quinn Anna Rose Anderson, born on August 2, 1998. Anderson departed from Stargate SG-1 because he wanted to dedicate more time to his daughter, explaining, Being a parent, well, I don't know if this is a shift, but it motivates me to leave here quicker, to clock out sooner, because my child is my reason for living, my reason for coming to work. Regardless of where they are now, their contributions to television will always be cherished and remembered. Thank you for joining us on this nostalgic trip down memory lane. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more fascinating insights into the world of entertainment. Until next time, take care and keep watching.